Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another shoe review. My name is David and today I have the Nike Flex Experience Run 11 and this is a size 12 and I got it at the Nike factory outlet store. So this thing retail for $59.99 and it was on clearance for $44.97 and I got another discount on top of that. So I ended up paying for like $33.91 after the discount, 30% discount. That's pretty awesome. And this is a budget kind of running shoe. So yeah, let's open up and see what's inside. So you see this thing looks good. You can see the Nike Flex Experience 11. And it's made with sustainable material, recycled material. And uh, Nike kept it simple with the shoe. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Look at this. And the fabric upper is pretty soft. And what's the big selling point for this shoe is the flex experience. So you can bend the shoe like that, side to side. It flex to your feet. So that's the selling point of Nike. And you see it says, it says Nike flex on right here. The Nike swoosh right here is stitched on. And this thing is made with at least 20% recycled content. So that's good with Nike. And uh, yeah, let's take it out. There's no shoe tree in here. They just stick tissue paper inside. So they don't even put like the Nike, um, Nike logo on the insole on the shoe. Let's take it out. Here, this is like a regular foam insole. And right there, you look directly down and just foam straight up. And the foam is not nothing special. It's not React or anything. Um, just regular foam. Uh, no Nike Air whatsoever in the shoe. But uh, yeah, Nike kept it simple. Recycled material. The bottom, the traction. It's good if you go and run on pavement, uh, cement, blacktop. But on grass, I kind of am afraid this thing going to slip. Because it doesn't have any rubber outsole, so it might not be good for you to run on other places. So, yeah. And um, so this is the top view. The shoelaces is one of the thin, lightweight material. So, yeah, it's very thin and lightweight. And the shoe is very lightweight itself, too. So, um, I got a size 12, which is my true to size size. So,. Yeah, the run experience 10, if you watched my video before in 2022, uh, it runs more narrow, this one, they fixed that. So, yeah, that's good. The tongue, you can see right here, is size 12. It's Nike, and it made in June 2023, so. You see that, it's made bit numb. The tongue is very light also. I like the design on the eyelids right here. You can see the recycled material speckles. You can see right there. And yeah, the whole shoe is very flexible, lightweight. No backbone on the back, no shank plate, nothing special about the shoe. Just light and flexible and it's budget. It's cheap. So if you're into running or you know, want to walk, you know, want to go on an exercise or a gym shoe. I think this is perfect for you if you're on a budget. You don't want to spend too much money. You know, this is a great shoe to go with. So, yeah, I'm going to put this shoe on and see how it looks like. Perfect.
So what you guys think is on my feet. So yeah, the shoes feels great. Um, it's true to size, lengthwise. The width is also good. So if you guys want a pair, just go to the Nike store and try it out. See how you guys like it before you buy it. Um, to me, it's, it's just perfect. And it's very comfortable, a lot more comfortable than the Run Experience 10. And uh, yeah, the pro of the shoe is that it flex to your feet. And it's very lightweight. So if you like to walk or you know jog, run, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this is a shoe for you. But um, if you want to spend a lot of money or more money, and you know um, you can get a better shoes than this. So you can want to be the, like the Nike uh, Pegasus or the Zoomax. You know those are a lot better shoe. But yeah, this one is just good enough for like you know beginners or whoever want to shoot just to walk around the one that spend a lot of money and uh, according to the run um, the Nike website this thing is, is created for a lightweight clean design and it's supposed to feel it's good it's supposed to feel good on the feet so the, the support of the shoe in the bottom it's cut for the right way movement of the natural of the feet so yeah that's why they created this shoe and yeah, I see how it flexes and everything. So that's how why I like the shoe. You can see it flexes to your feet when you walk or run. And even side to side too. So they cut it um, downward and you know horizontal. So yeah, it's good. Um, the negative for the shoe is um, Nike could always add more support, especially for the insole. Uh, the insole is kind of cheap. Uh, very thin so they could add more foam for that and they could use better foam for the Nike cushioning system so you know Nike Air, Nike Air Zoom they got a bunch of other stuff you know Nike React um, they could input it in this shoe and make it better another important one is they need some rubber outsole somewhere because if you run on the grass, then you go on to the pavement of cement or blacktop, this thing could slip, you know? Um, I don't trust a foam shoe that much unless they have a rubber outsole. So, you know, it's a grip. So the Nike dude could do that improvement. But overall, this is a good shoe. Go on Nike right now and grab a pair and uh, or the outlet. And, you know, you can always get it on sale and yeah, it looks good. Um, what do you guys think? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get future notifications of my new video on this channel. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll catch you guys in the next shoe review. Peace.